Hello, this is Watch All About with another watch review, and in this review, we're looking at one of the new offerings from Foibos. Now, I've uh, reviewed the Quartz version of this watch. This is the Ocean Master, and this is their uh, automatic version, more or less exactly the same, uh, slightly thicker, uh, but Otherwise, pretty much exactly the same, just with a, an automatic movement within it. So the price of this, the RRP is $399, which equates to about, about £285. Uh, but currently, they've got it on offer for $299, which is about £215. So obviously, the offer price uh, seems a pretty good, uh, pretty good deal for a nice, big, chunky uh, automatic watch uh, with a very decent uh, water resistance as well. So let's have a, a look at it in closer detail. Let's discuss the specs first. <clears throat> so as I mentioned, it is a pretty big chunky beast. So I've got a, about a seven and a quarter inch wrist. Um, diameter is 44 mil. So it's certainly on the bigger side of things. Um, you know, if you had small, anything smaller than a seven inch wrist, you would probably struggle to, um, uh, to pass it off certainly does demand a lot of attention uh, it's also very high as well it's got a good height of 15 mil so that could be a put off for, for some people uh, obviously this is primarily designed to be used as a proper diving watch uh, rather than more of a, a casual attire kind of watch so um, probably the people who will buy it will be less concerned about the height uh, certainly the height um, is required for the, uh, the the having the mechanical movement within it but also um, a little bit thicker is required for the, the insane depth rating of 100 atmospheres or 1,000 metres. Uh, now, I don't know if it's probably been tested to quite that deep, because that is an outrageous amount for a, such a cheap watch. But uh, one thing's for sure, if you were to do some uh, decent scuba diving, you would be covered, uh, or, or even deep sea diving. <clears throat> lug to lug length is 48.5mm, uh, so uh, relatively dumpy, actually, for the size of for the size of watch uh, diameter 44 and 48.5 um, you know you, you would probably expect a little bit more this actually means that it can sit on your wrist a little bit easier uh, it allows a, a very quick downturn of the bracelet so that it's a, it is quite a comfortable wear um, weight is pretty chunky I mean I've got a few links out and it's 210 grams still now that is uh, pretty heavy so you can certainly feel that it's a decent quality watch uh, you know there's so much steel in it Obviously, that's the main reason why it's uh, so heavy, but it does feel really good in the hand uh, on the wrist. feels good and chunky and, and solid and dependable. 22mm um, lug width, so that's a nice big thick uh, width uh, to go with the 44mm diameter, so that's good. Uh, Two-year warranty, <clears throat> so if anything does happen, you are covered. Although I have heard of a couple of like... Uh, dubious instances where people have struggled to get warranty claims, so that is a, a little bit of a risk there. The movement Seiko NH35A, so this is a very well known uh, affordable movement that uh, many micro brands use. Uh, reliable, sturdy, will last for a long time as well, and uh, they can be really well regulated as well. This one, in fact, is coming in at minus 6.3 seconds a day, so that is very, very accurate. Uh, for uh, for such an affordable watch, so that's a really good point. Um, the movement, uh, 21.6 thousand beats per hour, so it runs at six ticks a second, you can see, uh, see it ticking away there. Uh, 41 hour power reserve approximately, with a hacking second hand as well. Okay, so that's all the specs, let's uh, discuss it in closer detail. <clears throat> so, um, it comes in a, a few different colours. This one in particular is the blue one, and I like how, if I just give it a quick wipe, if I, uh, I like how the dial has a, a sunburst effect. So if I sort of try and catch the light, should be able to see it sort of rotating a little bit. Um, but it has a nice little sunbursty kind of feel to it uh, when you hit the light just right. So that's a, that is a nice unusual touch. Uh, for a diving watch. It doesn't affect legibility either. Legibility is really, really good. Uh, and the loom is really strong as well. I've been really impressed by the loom of, of this um, uh, this Ocean Master. Obviously, because of these big, fat, bold hands, these massive hour markers, you can read it really, really easily. With the strong loom as well, it's even uh, better in the dark as well. So it's, uh, it's really super easy to use, to read. Uh, but it also looks pretty cool as well. Um, I much prefer this new logo, uh, the octopus. On the old on the old model, it was just Foibos in plain text, and it was so boring. Uh, in fact, it was this uh, that text there, um, really boring. So I'm really glad they've got a, a cool uh, 
decent motif that had been designed uh, because it looks so much better with a, with a decent motif. Um, everything is uh, painted on. There's no applied uh, application, uh, applied uh, elements like the uh, hour markers or the logo. Not not really a problem. Uh, I always think if you're not gonna if you're gonna do it, do it good. If not, don't do it at all. Because I see so many uh, watches with like really small, thin, puny looking applied logos, and they just look cheap and tacky. So much better just to um, just to have a painted logo. So yeah, uh, really well designed uh, dial. Uh, you know, not a lot that can go wrong with it. Uh, white date wheel as well keeps it nice and easy and legible. Also, <clears throat> moving on to the case then, you do get a very uh, deep blue kind of feel with this, with these uh, unusual like um, linear markings and accents, uh, especially to the bezel as well. This grip is really, really good. Um, and just these little bits of uh, detail around the outside of the case as well. Uh, very deep blue esque. Uh, talking about the bezel, you can well, you can see the loom. I'll try and you can oh, almost so you can see the see the strengths of the loom there just by you know this has just been in the daylight as well so that's uh, displays the strength of loom. Uh, the bezel has a really nice uh, uh, buttery action to it nice decent clicks as well um, there's not too much play on it either <clears throat> let's see how it lines up lines up really nicely as well so really impressed with the bezel uh, it looks like just a, a plain standard aluminium insert with a loomed pip at 12 so nothing too exciting about that um, but it is slightly angled inward as you can see higher at the outside than the inside with a flat crystal sapphire crystal as well uh, so that will do a really good job of protecting the uh, the crystal um, the sapphire crystal because it's flat obviously that is a lot better than domed in terms of um, legibility uh, you do get a fair bit of um, reflections as you can see but you know i am looking at it in a in a room with windows and lights etc uh, but for the most part it is really uh, really nice and clear um, so um, I always like seeing a nice, decent, clear anti-reflective coating uh, and sapphire crystals. So, you know, this is this is pretty good for the price. Rest of the case, really well um, uh, put together and machined and manufactured. Oh, excuse me. We have a sort of like a, a, a gentle blasted finish to the side, as you can see, which is a little bit different to the normal brushed. And if we look at the top of the lug, that's ever so slightly brushed. So we've got a bit of a... Nothing's polished, which is obviously much better in terms of um, uh, longevity's sake. Uh, but we have a, a nice little mixture of, uh, of blasted, blasted and brushed as well. <coughs> the crowns. Uh, so we have a helium, uh, helium escape valve at two, and then our standard crown at uh, four. Crown is really well protected, but it does make it a little bit difficult to use. As you can see there, you can only really access it from the top and bottom and then pulling it out as well is a little bit tricky. But if you are wearing this regularly, you won't need to worry about that or if you've got it on a winder. Uh, so, you know, not a massive, massive deal, but for many people, protection is, is better, uh, is more important than uh, usability uh, for the crown. Uh, so there you go. But it's got really nice, decent, um, thick grip and it looks cool as well. As you can see, got a really big bulbous uh, backside to the case back, but the case back has um, a nice um, um, octopus logo motif uh, engraved on the back with some various specifics engraved around the outside, so that's uh, all really nicely and neatly done as well. Moving on to the uh, bracelet, I mean the bracelet is really nice, really thick, buttery. It's The shape almost reminds me of the Omega Planet Ocean uh, bracelet as well, very similar in design, uh, but the build quality is really good as well. You know, there's really close tolerances, um, no um, like gaps or or anything like that, and it's just really comfortable on. So really, really impressed uh, by the bracelet. All the pins are standard pins as well, rather than screw-in pins. Uh, so pretty straightforward to change. If I close it, here's our double locking. Uh, clasp as well. First lock is obviously the flip at the top and then you press both buttons to open it up. Uh, pretty secure, pretty solid, never going to open up uh, by accident on you um, as long as it's not broken. 
Okay, <clears throat> so let's get the macro lens on and we will have a look at it in even closer detail. Starting off with the dial then. There's the logo print work. And we've got some try to get a decent shot of these hour markers as well. You can see the print work on them. Pretty nice and neat. Got a bit of reflection on it. There we go. Here's our hands. Polished. Polished edges, apart from the minute hand with a really nice big bold orange border to it. Again, the loom is really strong. There's our second hand ticking away. There's our date window, nice and neat. So yeah, everything's really, really well uh, manufactured. Uh, no uh, obvious complaints that I've been able to notice. Here's the bezel insert. And looking at our bezel itself as well, look at the grip, see the brushed outer edge with these nice big thick teeth, making it really easy to use. We're moving on to our case. So here's that blasted side. There we go. And if we go over to this side, same again on the side, and here's our helium release valve at two, and our crown at four, nice big thick decent grip, and there's our crown guards as well. If we flip it over, <coughs> we can look at the octopus in the case back, nice accurate deep engraving as well, some details around the outside. Nice and deep engraving also. Moving on to the bracelet then. Here's our brushed top. And sides are also brushed. And then if we move on to the buckle, there's the foie bustle old style logo engraved on the end there. You can see it's quite nice and deep. And our top flap, here's our side buttons as well. Okay. <coughs> so, um, obviously this is a much better than the quartz version, merely because it is automatic. Uh, but it's also a really decent, solid uh, watch. You can really tell from handling it uh, that it's just really well put together. Um, nice big thick sapphire crystal, you know, just so much steel as well. It's really, really solid. Uh, decent dependable movement as well, the NH35A from Seiko. Not a lot, uh, you think, that can go wrong with it really. Uh, the price as well, $300 or £215, really, really impressive. What I would say is that it's probably not a, an ideal watch for day-to-day -day, um, life, merely because of the height. Uh, you could probably get away with it wearing it every day in summer, for instance, if you are only wearing short sleeve shirts uh, and t-shirts. Uh, but if you are if you want to wear it to a slightly more smart affair, you know, you've got a proper shirt on, a long sleeve shirt, it would be very difficult to wear it because of the, because of the height, but also because of the, the style a little bit as well. Um, but uh, yeah, really, really solid, dependable, decent watch. Uh, and I, I really enjoy watching it, uh, wearing it. It does, does really um, look decent on the on the wrist I mean as you can see now uh, it, it certainly looks more expensive than the 215 pounds uh, that you would pay for it um, so um, really good uh, really good uh, watch from Foibos once again so this was uh, the Foibos Ocean Master Automatic and that's what you're all about <laughs>